Hi there, Cancer. Welcome to your Rune Scope for March 2015 with me. My name is Amanda. As always, just a quick reminder, do please check out the video for your rising sign as well. That can give you some more information about some things that may come up for you in March. Of course, if you're looking for a reading that is specifically for you and uh, the specific issues that you may be dealing with, I'm available for private consultations. I do those on Skype. It's $65 for a 30 minute session. Just drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video if you would like to set up an appointment. Please do be patient. It can sometimes take me a few days to get back to you. Just depends on how many people are ahead of you. But let's jump into March Cancers. And uh, we, have a, we have a friend with us here. Stop and buy to hang out. She's gonna help me. We're doing a new location this month. Just need to change the location a little. I was bored at the kitchen table. All right, March for Cancer and Cancer Rising. Wow, okay. They have a lot to say to you, which is good. Should be able to get lots of help this month. Cancer. focus a lot of you may have recently started uh, a new spiritual journey uh, with the high priestess and uh, Aeol here um, you may be if you're not already on this journey you may discover it in March so this could be a class or a seminar or, or uh, a channel here on YouTube something that really kind of sparks your interest and you want to look into further uh, you know, and, and I feel like this, it may be a journey that changes your life in a, in a pretty radical way because some of the other rooms that we have here, um, it could be that you f finally something makes sense or it's kind of like a eureka moment uh, for you. Uh, for those of you who have been, um, you know, looking for uh, a new direction or a new way to increase your spiritual uh, connection or intuition because the high priestess priestess does talk a lot about intuition so it could be you know you could find this in March if you haven't already uh, for those of you who started this journey in February you're just gonna gain steam in March uh, or maybe you have more time to devote to this in March um, and your spiritual practice is going to help you with, with any issues that come up. So um, some of you, you know, you may have trouble uh, finding the time to uh, either practice your new, either focus on this or, or engage in this practice. So definitely make the time when you can because I think, I think you're going to need it in March. You're going to need that uh, kind of you time. And time to either find out more about this or devote to a class or uh, increase your knowledge. Now for you male cancers, this, this high priestess could be a woman who comes into your life as um, a, a very fortunate influence. She could be a mentor or somebody helping you on your spiritual journey, but she could be, you know, she could be a very significant person in your life in other ways too. This could be somebody that you end up uh, in a relationship with. Uh, and for women, this can also be a teacher. This can also be somebody that you are learning from, a, a woman that you're going to find very, um, definitely in that mentor type role who, who can guide you. And it does seem for most of you to be in a spiritual direction. Um, doesn't have to be. This could be in business. This could be a boss or, or somebody who just is really, um, you know, helping you along or guiding you in some way. But uh, definitely women for you in March Cancer are, are going to be proving uh, very positive. Some of you may just meet a new female friend who is interested in the same things that you're interested in, especially esoterically or spiritually. So um, there's something opening up for you, a new pathway in March Cancer. It's the start of it. And, you know, there may be delays in March as far as, again, you finding time, I think maybe to focus on this, but there's something opening up 
either spiritually or creatively that is going to be um it, it's the path you're supposed to be on or it's going to help you uh, move more quickly along the path you're already on um and i i don't feel like this is necessarily career so this is a very um spirit type reading I, I'm getting here for March cancer you guys are going to be focusing on uh, finding tools in the spiritual realm that will help you or or spiritual advice that will help you in your you know in your real life how things that you can apply in your daily life um, and there may be a, a situation that you feel you were defeated in that this opens up a new way that you didn't see before. There's a new way forward to a path that maybe you felt had ended or, or where you felt defeated in some way. Because with the chariot reversed here, that can mean um, a defeat or, um, you know, definitely not being able to meet the challenge sometimes. So if that if you run into that in March Cancer, it's okay because what I'm seeing is it's supposed to happen to get you to turn this other direction or to switch your focus over to definitely more spiritual um, approaches to real life problems. And applying knowledge that you're learning and, and being very excited when it actually works or, or changes your direction or turns a defeat into a win. I feel like a lot of you are going to be able to turn a defeat into a win in March, Cancer. So, you know, if you experience some bumps in in the month, that's okay. They're supposed to happen to, again, get you to change your, your focus here. Now, the help that's going to be available to you in March, uh, definitely you got support coming from other people and a lot of options. So I feel like there are a lot of people around you in, in March, Cancer. Um, and a lot of them are new, new connections or new beginnings with people from the past that maybe, you know, there have been some relationships that have been troubled. I think there's going to be options available in March to um, revisit those connections and uh, figure out a, a way to kind of wipe the slate clean and move forward. Those of you who are single, there are going to be a lot of options uh, for dating as well. So, and I feel like for most of you, this will be, you'll be out with your friends. Um, you will be, um, you know, just kind of hanging out, having a good time with your friends when you, when you meet some people, or maybe they are friends of friends uh, that you run into while you are with your friends or discussing things with your friends, even online, you know, discussing things with your friends online. And then, you know, you get into a conversation with a friend of a friend and it turns out that you have a lot in common. So yeah, definitely be, if you're single cancer, definitely be on the lookout for those of you who are a couple it could just be that you are starting something new with a partner, uh, a new creative project or a new business venture. And, and some of you, this may be a, a new business venture, but it feels like this is a group dynamic. So if this is, um, and you may be kind of discussing how to move forward, discussing what it is that you want to do. Um, for some of you, it's just, it may be with family. You're planning something with family, a get together or an event. Because again, there's this group dynamic and it may be to celebrate a new beginning, a marriage or a birth or something of that nature. I'm getting the name David for those of you who are single. There may be a David uh, who figures prominently in um, either someone that you're going to meet in March or the friend of the the friend maybe named David that you meet someone through. So if you have any friends named David and they invite you to do something in March, you should definitely go because I feel like maybe a connection to for a lot of you, a David is going to pan out and turn into be a romantic possibility. So I definitely post up in the comments if that works out for you <laughs> in March or if that resonates with you. If there's a David or you meet a David in March, definitely let me know. But uh, yeah, a lot of help available to you. In fact, a lot of people, so many people offering you help cancer that you may have trouble uh, narrowing it down. It looks to be a social month for you. And cancers, you can sometimes be homebodies. You know, you do like to be home. Uh, you, you value home and hearth. But March is seen to get out and circulate and definitely maybe reconnect with people in March if you haven't seen them in a while. Now, what can't be changed about March is that... Uh, with the King of Cups in reverse, this may be a, a person in your life who's being rather um, difficult. 
Uh, now, the King of Cups is normally a water sign. Like you, it may be another Cancer or a Pisces or Scorpio or somebody with those traits. Does not have to be a king, but he's presenting as a king. But um, in the reverse, the King of Cups is... Um, He's very protective of his family, but that means that, you know, when, even when they're doing something wrong, he will still defend them to the death, no matter what. Uh, you know, you can't say anything bad about this person's family, which can be good, a good trait when, when this person is in the right that he's defending. But, you know, again, like I said, they aren't always. Uh, he can also have a bit of a problem telling the truth. Um, he can make himself out to be the victim of any situation and kind of, he, he's, has a knack for turning things around on, on the other person, no matter what he has done. So this may be somebody that you are dealing with and, you know, it could just be a family member. Um, you know, for some of you, this could be a romantic partner or an ex, a former romantic partner who is, um, you know, refusing to learn life's lessons, uh, with three saws in reverse. Uh, this is somebody who just keeps repeating um, the same mistakes, especially in family relationships or relationships in general. So there could be something um, uh, with Perdro here as well in reverse. There could be a secret or a skeleton that comes out of this guy's closet. And it's really not a surprise to you, I don't think, Cancer. But it is it does kind of maybe shake up the family. And for a lot of you, I think this guy has connections to the past. So, I mean, I, I do feel like, you know, it, 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 this is someone from the past or someone that you've been involved with for quite some time. But the, there seems to be something he's hiding. And you find out about it in March. And it may be in connection to uh, property or real estate as well. So if you are looking to buy, if you are looking to move in March, Cancer, make sure that you uh, read all that fine print. Somebody may be trying to put something over on you here, uh, this King of Cups. So yeah, just pay attention to all of that. Definitely have everything as always looked over by a professional. Uh, and, and I also see though financially things look good, Cancer. I, I do see you either giving or receiving money from someone. So, I mean, if you are trying to get a loan, you're gonna get it, even though there may be delays. Um, there may be a, a female energy getting in the way with Legos here. Um, and the, the message here is patience when it comes to a, like getting a loan, getting help from a financial institution, particularly if it has to do with property. Um, you are going to get it. Whoever's trying to block you is not going to be able to. So, uh, but patience is is definitely the the name of the game in March when it comes to finances and property issues. Um, and that's really the only kind of um, you know eh moment of the month. You know, there's at least a few in every month, but. Um, Honestly, overall, it looks like a pretty good month for you, Cancer. Just definitely watch out for somebody trying to pull the wool over, over your eyes. They're not being honest with you. And um, be patient when it comes to money stuff. I do think it's going to pan out, but be have a plan B as far as, you know, if you... Um, if it doesn't come through on time and you have to wait a little bit longer than you were expecting to get help, especially financial assistance uh, from uh, someone or an institution. But I, I feel like your financial picture looks very good, Cancer. Uh, you know, you definitely are going to, if that's been a concern, I think March is the start of rectifying that. And by June especially, things are going to be really looking good for you financially. So if that it has been a difficult area, don't lose heart. You're, you're on the road here. A little more patience may be required. And uh, just watch who you trust in March, Cancer, always, but especially in March, because there's a guy and a, a female energy coming up who may not be the best. Trust that intuition, because again, it, it seems like you're working on that and, and using it in real life situations. And as long as you do that, you're definitely on the road to financial recovery and maybe meeting someone pretty special in March, Cancer, through a friend or a family member, someone close to you. So. That is what I see for March, Cancer. Good luck with that, and I'll see you back here for April.